So a midweek hunt to chase then. Two mile, one furlong, naught to ninety. The Midland point to point, and the top one is Power Play, Kevin Meenahan, Tainted Human, Stu Gray, Bonshire River, Martin Little, Majesty, Alex Cherry, Worthy for Doug Warren, Pipe and Light, James Follis, Gray, Larmy, Worthy for Doug Warren, Kahanka, Alex Cherry, Highest Phillips Town, Darren Howes, Allegram, Martin Little, Jab Wheel for James Follis, and Phillips Town Sphinx for Darren Howes. So one or two familiar names in this. And a couple of horses in here that already won some of these races in the past. They're away and racing and down towards the first of the fences. And they're going liggety split at the moment. And pulling for its head even more is Grey Army Worthy. Pipe and Line is a standing dish in these races. But now it's the Doug Warren pair that are going to show the way. So Worthy and Grey Army Worthy come down to the first. And over that one was a bit of a mistake by Bonshire River. Who won a point to point a couple of weeks ago. And ran reasonably well last week as well, which is why it's near the top of the weights. But, uh, my pair currently at the back alley, Grand and Bonshire River. And fellow commentators in first and third at the moment, with Doug Warren's worthy in front. And Kanker is second. Tainted Human for Stu Gray's third. You can see the two James Follis horses closest to us in the blue as they take the third. And uh, whatever that one, okay. Once again, quite a few people got two in this. So take the fourth. It's much better now that you can get two runners in most of the races. Although we are maybe getting one or two that are filled a little bit too big. But all adds to the thrills and spills, isn't it? And it's worthy in the lead. As they come down to the fifth of the 13. Got a lot of fences, 13 in a two mile race. And Worthy's in front. Gahanka second. And a gap to Piper and Lydon Tainted Human. Then Jab Wheel and Phillips Town Sphinx is after that one. And Ali Graham Grail Army Worthy. Highest Phillips Town as they put their way to the sixth uphill. And over that one, they all jumped in okay again with power play just at the back of the field. Not having a power play at the moment. And Worthy's in front of Gahanka as they take the water. Where nothing ever happens. And Worthy's in front from Gahanka in second. And Pipe and Light Tainted Human and Jabouil. Rail Army Worthy as they take that big ditch. And they all gave that one plenty of respect and all got to the other side in one piece. And Worthy is a worthy leader at this point from Kahanka in second. Let's skip over that one. Again, one or two giving it a bit of air. But it's Worthy who leads from Kahanka. And they're a good six lengths clear of the rest of them who are headed by Highest Phillips Town, then Tainted Human, Pipe and Light, Grail Army Worthy. Jim Wheel as they take that. Oh, what that's all about there. <laughs> a slip from the cameraman, fell off his stool. We've got a picture of the top of the hurdle. Anyway, Worthy's in front still. Kahanka's second. The chasing pack are closing though now considerably. And they've not got all that much further to go. They've got less than five furlongs to race, and they've got, I think, three more fences to take. And it's Worthy in the lead. Over the third last they go. A uh, mistake there was by Phillips Town Sphinx. That's probably put that one out of the race. But it's Worthy in the lead then from Jab Wheel and Grey Army Worthy. Running on well now is highest, highest Phillips Town. Also then comes Piper and Light trying to get into it. Tainted Human is still there as well. Another one running on well from the back is Majesty. And they come down towards the second last now then. With just a little more than two furlongs to go. And in the lead is Worthy. He's been in the lead most of the way. Grey Army Worthy is second. Jab Wheel is third. Then comes Highest Phillips Town and Kahanka over the second last. And Worthy jumps it well. And Worthy got away from it well. And Worthy still in front being chased by Grey Army Worthy over the final fence. They go there. With just a little more than a four long to go. And Worthy in front. Jab Wheel is trying to close. Grey Army Worthy is trying to get back up as well. This is going to be a ding dong finish into the final half furlong. It's Worthy, Jab Wheel, and Grey Army Worthy. It's almost three in a line. And it's Jab Wheel probably on the outside. Jab Wheel and Grey Army Worthy. And Worthy, oh, it's pretty close. Goodness me. Doug was first and second most of the way, and he may well have just been nobbled on the line. He's had some rotten luck the last few weeks, Doug, with getting pipped at the post, and I don't know, I think he's been done again. Could be a dead eat, this. Could well be a dead eat. Let's have a look and see. It is a dead eat. It's Jabwheel for James Follis and Grail Army Worthy for Doug Warren. It would have been a shame to see Doug 
touched off again. A good win for both of them there. James Follis and Doug Ronald will both be happy with that one. Jabril then wins it for James Follis with Grey Lamy Worthy for Doug Warren sharing the spoils of the dead heat. Worthy for Doug Warren was third. Highest Phillips down Darren Al was fourth. And James Follis was fifth. And well, with Piper and Lights, and next year I think we should call that one the Warren and Follis Midlands point to point hunters chase.